No tickets from venue. No tickets from venue. I'm still at 45. Oh, I really want these tickets. <laughs> A lot of offices in Toronto probably looked like this one this morning with desperate employees frantically clicking the refresh button trying to get Blue Jays tickets. They went on sale for the second round of the baseball playoffs today and they were awfully hard to come by. You had to have some serious money. Tickets for all the games sold out in an hour even though there's no guarantee that the Jays will make it that far but do not tell a Jays fan that. They think you're crazy. They're pretty sure they're going all the way. Meanwhile, the Jays are getting ready for their first round series against the Texas Rangers, which begins tomorrow afternoon in Toronto. CBC's James Murray is at the Rogers Center right now. I've heard of getting to the ballpark early, but this one, 24 hours, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, too, because I don't even really need a ticket to the game. I almost hate to show you, but... Ooh, that is gold, my friend. It means we, we get in, and although I will be paid to watch the game, I won't be paid as much as these guys are being paid to have a front row seat at tomorrow's baseball game. The Toronto Blue Jays have earned their way into this divisional series, and the players have been practicing now for about a half hour. Uh, they've been in the field, and they are just socking the ball in batting practice. Of course, this team known for its hitting from the top of the lineup right through to the bottom, and it's almost like they've had a, a competition to, to knock it out of the park even in batting practice. And this is something uh, that, that the Jays have, have taken very seriously for the past couple of months is their approach to hitting, and, and it has really powered them through to their success. Uh, we talked with some of the players here just before they came out onto the field for batting practice. Uh, we started with uh, the person who hears MVP almost everywhere he goes in Toronto, even in competing ballparks he's hearing it, Josh Donaldson. Let's start with what he had to say. You know, we have, we've had goals as a team all year, and the first was to win the division. The second was our second goal is to get past this first round, and the third is going to be the, the next round, and then the fourth is hopefully win the World Series. You know, the city, it's not just our city, but it's a country that's been kind of behind us, and so you feel it from, you know, it doesn't matter how far west you go, and I live outside the city a uh, pretty good bit, and people are just beside themselves with jubilation. <laughs> R.A. Dickey, a former Texas Ranger himself, looking forward to playing the Texas Rangers. When he was with uh, their team, they told him he would never have the arm strength to become a major league pitcher unless he learned the knuckleball. He is now one of the biggest knuckleball pitchers uh, in the game, Diana. Thanks, James. Now, you, as you say, you've been there. You've been watching the players working out, practicing today. I mean, how are they looking? There, a lot of these guys in this lineup have never been this far. Well, it's, it's hard to imagine that they would be tense about this when they make their first appearance in, you know, those Adidas flip-flops that all athletes sort of wear? So pretty casual. But when it came time to get onto the field, it was all business, uh, going through their regular routines, uh, eyes on the ball, determined faces. And Buck Martinez, a former Jays catcher, a manager, and now a Blue Jays broadcaster, says this is a very important key to their success. Here's what he had to say. I'm looking for a natural routine, something that they've done all year long, and I don't want to see anything different. I want them to have their same batting practice routines, go about their business in the same fashion that they did all year long. And uh, I come down to watch batting practice every day. I think it teaches you an awful lot about what a guy is trying to do, what he might be trying to adjust to, and how he might be going about hitting a particular pitch in a certain direction. Martinez says it's very important that the Jays do what they did all year long. And, of course, what they did all year long, Diana, was win. Hopefully that streak continues. Thanks, James.